welcome to another exciting and informative video in the journey began with Eva YouTube series. In today's video, I am sharing with you some of the things which I wish that I knew before I started a YouTube channel. I hope this video will be helpful to the people who are planning to start a YouTube channel or those who have just started their YouTube channels and are willing and determined to grow. Welcome to today's video. If you like the video, if it is helpful to you, please do give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know which part was more helpful to you so what are some of these lessons what are some of these things which i wish i knew before i started a youtube channel are you ready to hear from me get a pen and paper if you need to my mistake number one was assuming that i did not know anything about youtube I had no idea how YouTube is done, where to start, how it's done, but little did I know that owning a Gmail account is all you need for you to have a YouTube channel. So for those who have been wondering how to start a YouTube channel, all you need is to sign in into your Gmail account, then go to YouTube, sign in, give your channel a name, and there you go, you already have a YouTube channel. Give your channel a name and start posting content for us to enjoy watching you have to start somewhere right so don't wait for tomorrow start now go to youtube sign in with your gmail account and start posting content for us to enjoy watching easy right i wish i knew that content creation does not need to be costly i was always worried about owning that big good quality expensive camera having good sound equipment for my videos, or purchasing good lighting for my videos. But remember, I was just starting. I was putting too much pressure on myself. Later on, I came to learn that owning a digital phone, a digital mobile phone is all you need. If you have a smartphone, start from there. Up to today, I still use a mobile phone to record my videos. And if you compare from where I started and today, you can notice some slight improvement. I'm just experiencing the journey of content creation. So don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be wondering about owning an expensive camera, purchasing lighting equipment. You don't even know how to use them. <laughs> first, first of all, you do not even know how to use them. So maximize on what you have. If you have a smartphone, you already have enough equipment for you to start creating content. Well, I wish I knew that I needed to have a plan for my content. I needed to have a schedule to guide me on content creation. With time, I came to learn that content creation is not just obvious. Ideas will not always be there. My assumption was that I'll just be picking my mobile phone and start recording. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Then you go blank. You have nothing to say. I have been through that experience. So my advice is that come up with a schedule for your content. Actually, after doing some little research, I have come, up, come to realize that some people even pre-record like 10 or five videos before they start a YouTube channel. That is a very wise tip. I wish I knew about copyrights. Copyrights is a major thing here on YouTube. I have come to find out that your content has to be unique. It has to be your own content which you have created. Don't, be, don't bank on other people's content. Yes, you can use their idea and customize it to what you think you can do best. But do not copy someone's work. Copyright is a major thing here on YouTube. You will, for those who have not yet started or they have just started, if you keep using copyrighted uh, content, your channel will get a copyright strike and YouTube will never accept you to the YouTube partnership program. Or even your channel can be, can be terminated. The other day I was talking to another content creator who was like, I started doing these kind of videos then some I've seen some other people doing the same thing that I have been doing. Don't get worried when you see people 
starting to get interested in what you're doing remember that we are not in you are not reinventing the wheel even whatever you are doing you got an inspiration from somewhere it is not hundred percent original yes let's just speak the truth it is not hundred percent uh, original you learned it from another person then you repackaged it to appear original that's what we should focus on so i was talking to him and i was telling him that yes someone might copy your idea but they will not execute it the same way you did yes everyone is different as any everyone has their unique way about what attracts audience to their videos maybe it's the way you present yourself maybe it's your narration style maybe it's your editing style which brings viewers to your channel stick to that just keep doing what you're doing don't be worried about people copying your content because information is everywhere and no one dictates on what somebody else is going to create content about just ensure that that thing which makes you feel that this is me this is what makes me stand out on youtube is what you're focusing on believe in yourself there is that thing which identifies you as who you are stick to that another thing i wish i knew is that your videos have to revolve around a certain theme that's why you hear many people talking about having a niche here on youtube maybe it's about cooking you want to specialize on fashion you want to specialize on a uh, uh, inspiration videos you want to specialize on education you want to specialize on diy it is upon you to choose what is working for you because everything will not favor you you can't be all over you are not a perfectionist in everything there is one that one thing that you feel that you are good at focus on that and bring your best self through that i wish i knew that not everyone will like my content not everyone will associate themselves with my content not everyone will resonate with my content yes it took me a long time to accept that then after a long time after staying in denial for a long time because i was always worried about the views because youtube is about the views yes yes i came to learn about that it is just like the normal daily life not everyone will like you not everyone will hate you it is the same case here on youtube what you need to do is that is to know that out there there is an audience for you there is an audience out there yearning to consume your content you should always have hope and be self-motivated that there's always a viewer out there who is waiting for you to post that content and and watch your content always be self-motivated and have hope everybody has their story to tell so tell your story your own way be proud of your content all your content with time you'll grow your audience and you'll be comfortable presenting your content for people to view i wish i knew that being self-confident with my content is all that i needed it is the only armor that i needed to conquer for the longest time i was doubting myself i was wondering how i would ever be able to stand and present myself for people here on youtube to view my content it has been a long journey we have come a long way my good people the fact that i can stand here in front of the camera and address you has not just happened it has been a long journey of practice practice after practice the same case to you if you want to be confident here on youtube you have to keep practicing overcome your fear let fear not distract you from achieving your goals don't look for validation from people believe in yourself always remember that perfection will not come in a day it will not come overnight just keep practicing and improving on yourself day after day slowly by slowly before you realize it you'll have perfected everything 
and content creation will be a very easy and enjoyable exercise for you guys i wish i knew that posting one video will not make me famous <laughs> sounds funny right i thought that i just post one video then it will just go viral and i will start making money after doing my research to my disappointment i found that even getting the first 1000 subscribers you'll have to post like more than 50 or even 100 videos it is the bitter truth so if you're just starting out you have to remember that posting oftenly consistency is a major thing in this youtube platform you just just post one video then sit back and wait for you your video to go viral unless you are a celebrity it is like a, a 0.5 percent of the entire youtube creation community so don't rely on luck putting the hard work after all the hard and success is the sweetest so put in the work don't be there just pillowing i wish i knew that content creation was an art for you to be good on youtube you need to have excellent storytelling skills you need to practice presenting yourself in front of the camera you need to have some basics in videography skills when i was starting i did not have any of that trust me i was at zero percent as far as video editing is concerned up to today I have not yet perfected that but i have hope i am trying hard to keep improving on myself that is the kind of spirit that you need then i wish i knew that all the answers that i needed to know about youtube were all available in this platform it all depends with your desire to learn and keep improving on yourself so slowly by slowly i started searching for how to do this how to do this how to do this and with time i have been improving on my content creation process so the same case will happen to you if you have the desire to learn if you want to keep growing and improving your content creation skills all the answers that you need are here on youtube so what you need to do is to type in just how to do this how to go about this information will just pop up you have free knowledge you don't need to enroll to a course all the answers you need are available here on this youtube platform thank you so much guys for watching up to this far let me know in the comment section down below if you're already a content creator what do you wish you would have known before you started a youtube channel to those who are planning to start a youtube channel if this video has been helpful to you go ahead give it a thumbs up and also to those who haven't subscribed yet I hope you consider joining this amazing family of people who are future oriented people who are happy and dedicated to become a better version of themselves so go ahead click that subscribe button and put the notification button on so that you can always get notified whenever i upload new content remember to be kind to other people because currently people are going through very difficult moments watch my other videos i'll leave them somewhere on the screen See you in my next one. Bye.